Hello everyone, welcome to Study Dogma. In this video, we will discuss about most important weekly current affairs MCQs from 27 April to 3rd May 2020. Before starting the session, I will request all of you to please, please, please like, share and subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time. You can also follow us on Instagram and join the Study Dogma Telegram channel for PDFs and regular general awareness quiz sessions. Try to add yourself and participate more and more to check your knowledge and update yourself. So let's start today's session. Which Arab country has terminated death penalty for minors? Right answer is Saudi Arabia. Now the new order states that any individual who has received a death sentence for crimes committed while he or she is a minor will no longer face execution. Instead of the death sentence, the individual will undergo a prison sentence of no longer than 10 years in a juvenile detention facility. United Arab Emirates capital is Abu Dhabi and currency is dhiram qatar capital is doha and the currency is real bahran capital is manama and the cap currency is dinar iraq's capital is baghdad and the currency is dinar which space agency's hubble space telescope has completed 30th year in orbit on 25th april 2020 right answer is NASA. Now, NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. Roscosmos is Russian Space Agency. It is also known as Russian Federal Space Agency. JAXA is Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, whereas CNSA is China National Space Administration. Which state government has launched Jeevan Shakti Yojana for women? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. Name the former governor from Bihar and Tripura who recently passed away. Right answer is Devanand Konwar. Which state hospital deploys Karmi Bot robot? to serve COVID-19 patients? Right answer is Kerala. Now the robot will be used to assist patients at the medical college's COVID-19 isolation ward. The robot is developed by Asimov Robotics and it limits the interaction between COVID-19 patients and doctors. Now recently Jharkhand also launched robots which will serve food and medicines to COVID-19 patients in hospital. And Odisha's smart city Bhubaneswar gets first Robo Chef restaurant where two robots Champa and Chameli has been engaged. What amount has been announced by Reserve Bank of India as special liquidity facility for mutual funds? Right answer is 50,000 crore. Which state government has launched a mobile application Help Me to provide all necessary services? Right answer is Haryana. Now recently Delhi launched Assess Corona app for survey in hotspots. And Manipur started food bank to fight against COVID-19. Which state government has started Dhanvantari scheme for home delivery of medicines? Right answer is Assam. So Assam government has started Dhanvantari scheme for home delivery of medicines. And remember Jharkhand has launched Pragyam app and Punjab launched Koba app to deliver essential items in this pandemic crisis. On which day the World Intellectual Property Day observed globally? Right answer is 26th April. 
नेम द वेटरन फोटो जर्नलिस्ट हु पास्ट अवे रिसेंटली राइट आंसर इज रोनी रॉय विच इंस्टीट्यूट हैज क्रिएटेड विलोकना सर्च इंजिन फॉर कोविड 19 रिसर्च राइट आंसर इज आई 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 टी एम केरला नाउ आई 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 टी एम केरला स्टैंड फॉर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट केरला दिस सर्च इंजिन विल हेल्प रिसर्चर्स टू गेट डीपर इंसाइट इन टू साइंटिफिक स्टडीज टू फाइंड एन अर्ली सोल्यूशन टू कोविड नाइनटीन क्राइसिस नाउ रिसेंटली IIIT Delhi has developed a mobile app Wash Karo to warn the people about coronavirus containment zones nearby and IIT Roper developed UV tech fitted trunk to sanitize grocery and currency notes name the former pakistani women cricketer who announced retirement from international cricket right answer is sana meer now laura marsh sara taylor and jenny gun all of them are england women cricketer whereas alex blackwell is an australian women cricketer who recently announced retirement from international cricket which tech giant has launched a group video chat feature messenger rooms right answer is facebook who represented india in the first virtual meeting of 11th session of petersburg climate dialogue held via video conferencing hosted by germany right answer is mr prakash javdekar so prakash javdekar is the union minister of environment forest and climate change over 30 countries participated in the dialogue with discussions on measures to tackle covid-19 now india suggested having a climate technology that is open to everyone at an affordable cost and suggested that 1 trillion dollar grant may be created and recently Nirmala Sitaraman participated in the second extraordinary G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting under the Saudi Arabian presidency to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on the global economy and coordinate efforts in response to this global challenge. CSIR CMERI that is Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute has developed H card that is hospital care assistive robotic device where is this institute based on right answer is durgapur durgapur is in west bengal now this robotic device will be used in the collection of samples of people exhibiting symptoms of covid 19 and will also be useful in treating covid-19 patients hence it will be very beneficial for the frontline healthcare workers who are treating covid-19 patients h card works both in autonomous mode as well as manual mode of navigation now remember india's first glass floor bridge to be built in rishikesh which will replace lakshman jhula and recently indore became india's cleanest city now recently tansen samaro 2019 was held in gwalior and the 2020 dep expo was hosted at lucknow which automobile company has developed a low cost ventilator to fight against covid 19 right answer is maruti suzuki now maruti suzuki is supporting a startup aqua healthcare to scale up ventilator production at gautam buddh nagar of uttar pradesh and the chairman of maruti suzuki is mr rc vargava 
Padma Shri Award winner Irfan Khan passed away. He was a renowned what? So he was a renowned actor. What amount of loan agreement has been signed between Government of India and Asian Development Bank to fight against COVID-19? Right answer is $1.5 billion. Now the loan amount will be sanctioned under the ADB's COVID-19 Active Response and Expenditure Support Program that is CARES Program. And remember ADB approved $6.5 billion to its developing member, member countries for fighting the disease which afterwards has been tripled to $20 billion. Which bank will acquire 29% additional stake in Max Life Insurance for an estimated price of Rs. 1592 crore? Right answer is Axis Bank. And recently, Axis Bank has launched a new scheme, Express FD, where the interest rate will be same, which is applicable to regular FD accounts. And now, State Bank of India has launched debit card EMI on POS loans for consumer durables, and SBI also becomes the first Indian bank. To have office in Australia's Victoria. Now, recently, Indian Overseas Bank has been nominated for collection of donations for PM Cares Fund, and Indian Bank has launched credit products that is corporate loan and end Surya Shakti for textile sector. Who has been appointed as Chairman and Managing Director of HUDCO, that is Housing and Urban Development Corporation? Right answer is Shiv Das Mina. Now, Arvind Krishna has been appointed as CEO of International Business Machine, that is IBM. CV Nageshwar has been appointed as Chief Financial Officer of State Bank of India. Anjani Rathor has been appointed as Chief Digital Officer of HDFC Bank, whereas PK Purwar appointed as CMD of MTNL. What amount did the Assam government announce as insurance cover to journalists who are reporting during COVID-19? Right answer is 50 lakhs. Which state government has started Jagannath Vidya Divana scheme? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. Now, under this scheme, the state government will provide fee reimbursement for ITI, BTEC, B Pharmacy, MBA, MCA, and BA courses. The amount of rupees fifteen thousand to rupees twenty thousand will be offered for the eligible candidates through the Jaganna Vidya Divana scheme. Name the former Liverpool player who passed away recently. Right answer is Michael uh, Robinson. Now, Troy Sneed was a famous Grammy nominated singer. James Pitts was an ex-NASA administrator. Hosni Mubarak was the former Egyptian president. Whereas Albert Uderzo was the co creator of Asterix comic books. Which IIT has developed a wave dashboard Prakriti? Right answer is IIT Delhi. Which university's scientist has developed berberine based Alzheimer's inhibitor? Right answer is JNCASR stands for Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. Now, recently IITM Kerala created Vilokana search engine for COVID-19 research and IIIT Delhi has developed a mobile app Vashkaro 
to warn the people about coronavirus containment zones nearby g20 has launched a new initiative access to covid-19 tools accelerator to fight against covid-19 now which country to host g20 summit 2020 right answer is saudi arabia now 2019 g20 summit was hosted by japan italy will host 2021 g20 summit what is deal amount signed between nokia and bharti airtel in order to enhance the network capacity of bharti airtel right answer is 1 billion dollar now this deal will improve customer experience of bharti airtel's customers by providing them best in class connectivity now according to this multi year deal nokia will deploy near about 3 lakh radio units across india by 2022 now recently nokia appointed pekka landmark as ceo and president according to latest report of india ratings and research that is indra what will be india's gdp for the fiscal year 2021 right answer is 1.9% and according uh, to the world bank india's gdp will be 1.5 to 2.8% and adb also projects india's gdp at 4% which indian psu company has launched hydrogen fuel cell based electric car and bus project for leh and new delhi right answer is ntpc so india's largest power producer that is national thermal power corporation has launched hydrogen fuel cell based electric car and bus project for leh and new delhi now remember the chairman and md of ntpc is mr gurdeep singh and ntpc is a maharatna company now maharatna company means that that firm having permission to invest 15% of their net worth in a project without government approval name the multilateral air combat exercise between india and australia which has been cancelled by australia due to covid 19 right answer is pitch black 2020 now yuddh abhyas is between india and the united states held at washington shinyu metri is between india and japan held at panagad west bengal hand in hand is between india and china and took place at umroi meghalaya whereas nasim al bahar held at goa between india and oman which bank has launched a special borrowing scheme for self help groups as an initiative to help the shgs to overcome the difficulties posed by covid 19 right answer is indian overseas bank now each member of a self help group can avail a maximum loan amount of rupees 5000 while there is a cap of rupees 1 lakh for the group a self help group with history of minimum two loans from indian overseas bank and good track record will be eligible for this loan facility also only those self help groups are eligible to avail this special scheme whose existing loans are standard and performing as on march 1st 2020 and now icici bank recently launched banking services on whatsapp and voice banking services on amazon alexa and google assistant and recently icici bank has launched fd health scheme now n kamakodi has been reappointed as md and ceo of city union bank 
for a period of three years. And recently, HDFC Bank has launched co-branded credit card with country's largest airline, Indigo, which IIT's student team, in collaboration with NIT Srinagar and IUST, that is Islamic University of Science and Technology, Jammu and Kashmir, has developed a low-cost ventilator, Ruhudar. Right answer is IIT Bombay. Now remember, IIT Gandhinagar has recently launched Project ISAC to inspire its students and IIT Delhi and IIT Guwahati to set up space technology cell. Name the ex-NASA administrator who passed away recently. Right answer is James M. Bates. Now Roger Mayweather was a former world champion boxer. Floyd Cardoz was an Indian born international chef. Catherine Johnson was a NASA mathematician, whereas Larry Tesler was a computer scientist who introduced cut copy paste commands. Which day is observed as International Dance Day? Right answer is 29th April. Now, 28th April was observed as World Day for Safety and Health at Work. Name the athlete who has been banned by Athletics Integrity Unit, that is AIU, for four years for failing dope test. Right answer is Chuma Khatun. Now, Sarjit Kaur and Seema are weightlifters who recently banned for four years for doping violation. And Sunil Shetty was appointed as brand ambassador of NADA. And recently, Asian Games rowing champion Dattu Bhokanal's two years ban has been lifted. Name the Pakistani cricketer who has been banned for a period of three years by Pakistani Cricket Board for corruption charges? Right answer is Omar Akmal. Now, Babar Azam will be the captain of Pakistan team for ICC T20 World Cup Australia. Bisma Maruf is captain of Pakistan's women cricket team. Sana Mir has recently announced retirement from all forms of international cricket. Whereas Abdul Qadir, a former Pakistani cricketer, passed away recently. King George Medical University, that is KGMU, has become country's first government hospital to successfully launch plasma therapy treatment for COVID-19 patients. Which state is this hospital based? Right answer is Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Now, the plasma therapy aims at using antibodies from the blood of a recovered COVID-19 patient to treat those critically affected by the virus. The therapy can also be used to immunize those at a high risk of contracting the virus, such as health workers, families of patients, and other high-risk contacts. Which country tops the global military expenditure according to CIPRI's latest report, Trends in World Military Expenditure 2019? Right answer is USA. Now, USA with $732 billion expenditure tops the list. China being second, spending $261 billion. India is third spender with $71.1 billion. Russia with $65.1 billion is fourth, whereas Saudi Arabia is the fifth largest spender with $61.9 billion. Who has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020? Right answer is. Thalapil Pradeep. Now, IIT Madras Professor Mr. Thalapil Pradeep 
has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 in the field of science and technology. He will be awarded for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification. Now the Nikkei Asia Prize recognizes those individuals who have contributed to the region's sustainable development and to the creation of a better future of Asia. The prize is conferred in science and technology, culture and community, and economic and business innovation. Now, Ram Prasad Kadel from Nepal has been awarded in culture and community field, whereas Anthony Tan and Tan Hui Ling has been awarded in economic and business innovation field and both belongs to Malaysia. FIFA has launched hashtag we will win campaign to pay tribute to health workers who ensure the society continues to function among COVID-19. Now question is who is the president of FIFA? Right answer is Kiani Infantino. Now FIFA has launched a campaign called hashtag we will win and tribute a special video to health workers and other professionals who ensure the society continues to function. And remember, FIFA's headquarters is in Zurich, Switzerland. Now, Thomas Batch, he is the president of International Olympic Committee headquartered in Lausanne, Switzerland. And Vladimir Lisin is the president of International Shooting Sports Federation, which is headquartered in Munich, Germany. Now, Thomas Wickert is the president of International Table Tennis Federation, which is headquartered at Lausanne, Switzerland. Whereas Sashank Manohar is the president of ICC, which is headquartered in Dubai, UAE. Which state government has given maximum jobs under Manrega amid nationwide lockdown? Right answer is Chhattisgarh. Now, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, which is a social security scheme that attempts to provide employment and livelihood to rural laborers in the country. Now, Madhya Pradesh recently launched Jeevan Amrit Yojana to boost immune system of people to fight coronavirus. Who has been conferred Order of Rising Sun Award by Japan? Right answer is Dr. Thangjam Dhabali Singh and he is from Manipur. Now, Dr. Thangjam Dhabali Singh was awarded for promoting a better understand of Japan in India and deepening ties between the two countries. Now this award is conferred on persons with achievements in international relations, promotion of Japanese culture, environmental preservation, welfare or achievements in their fields. And recently DRDO chairman G. Satish Reddy was awarded honorary fellowship by UK's Royal Aeronautical Society. Now, Ravish Kumar, a senior journalist, won the Raman Magsese Award 2019 for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless. He is also awarded with Gauri Lankesh Award for journalism. And recently, Jadav Pying who is also known as Forest Man of India, has been awarded with Swami Vivekananda Karma Yogi Award. He was also honored with 128 Commonwealth Points of Lights Award. Whereas Chandi Prasad Bhatt was awarded the Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration for his work on environment. Freedom Fighter and Padmashri Awardee Hema Varali passed away at the age of 101. She belongs to which state? 
right answer is assam who has been appointed as advisor of google pay india right answer is shikha sharma now julie sweet is the ceo of accenture sanjeev chadda has been appointed as managing director and ceo of bank of baroda recently vinay dubey has been appointed as ceo of goyer whereas karan bajwa has been appointed as the head of google cloud in india which bank has launched vikas abhaya loan scheme to provide relief to msme borrowers right answer is karnataka vikas gramin bank now this loan will be for the existing msme customers and under this scheme a maximum loan of up to rupees 1 lakh will be provided and no collateral security is emphasized and is repayable within 36 months and recently karur vyasa bank launched india's first prepaid card enkasu now the customers buying this card can make tap and go payments and these cards can be accepted online as well as offline and recently indusin bank topped the list of highest increase in brand value who represented india in the g20 digital economy ministers virtual summit held under the presidency of saudi arabia right answer is ravi shankar prasad and he is the union law and justice minister and his constituency is patna sahib bihar name the former indian football captain who passed away recently right answer is chuni goswami now he was the captain of indian football team that won the 1962 asian games gold medal who has been honored by american academy of arts and science for distinguished work in the field of science right answer is shobhana narasimhan now shobhana narasimhan is a professor from the theoretical science unit at the jawarlal nehru center for advanced scientific research she has been elected as an international honorary member to the american academy of arts and science she has done remarkable work on the national design of nanomaterials determining the effect of lowering of dimensionality and reduction of size on the properties of material now thalapil pradeep is a professor from iit madras and selected for the nikkei asia prize 2020 in the field of science and technology for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification other individuals who are been selected in that nikkei asia prize 2020 are ram prasad kadeli for culture and community and he is from nepal and antony tan and tan hui ling from malaysia in the field of economic and business innovation and recently manipuri doctor thangjam dhabali singh was conferred order of rising sun award by japan for promoting a better understand of japan in india and deepening ties between the two countries who has launched ebook professor b b lal india rediscovered right answer is prahlad singh patel now union home minister amit shah recently released a book karma yodha granth written on the life of prime minister shri narendra modi and amit shah also launched the book listening learning and leading based on venkaiah naidu's two years as vice president of india and prime minister shri narendra modi released a book digital nation written by n chandrashekaran and rupa purushottaman now recently venkaiah naidu was conferred with highest 
civilian honor of comoros the order of green crescent by comoros president azoli asomuni and uh, the capital of comoros is moroni and currency is franc and venkaiah naidu became the first indian to receive the degree of doctor of philosophy from the university of peace in the costa rican capital of san jose for his contribution to the rule of law democracy and sustainable development in india who has been appointed secretary to the ministry of msme right answer is arvind kumar sharma now giridhar aramane has taken over the charge as secretary to the ministry of road transport and highways and remember present msme and road transport and highways minister is nitin gadkari and his constituency is nagpur maharashtra and sanjay kotari has been appointed as central vigilance commissioner now recently rajiv gauba was appointed as cabinet secretary for a period of 2 years whereas bimal julka is a chief information commissioner of india which research and development organization has developed kisan sabha app right answer is csir crri and csir crri stands for council of scientific and industrial research central road research institute now the primary objective of kisan sabha app is to provide the most economical as well as timely logistics help to the farmers it will help farmers by timely delivery of their produce at best possible prices name the south african veteran anti apartheid activist who recently passed away right answer is dennis goldberg now robert mugabe was the former prime minister of zimbabwe and ken shimura was a famous japanese comedian who passed away recently which day has been observed as world tuna day right answer is 2nd may according to a report titled the global report on internal displacement that is great 2020 from idmc 5 million people in india were displaced in 2019 due to natural disasters now question is where is the headquarter of idmc right answer is geneva switzerland which country's oil price has recently recorded below 0 dollars for the first time right answer is united states which institute has developed microwave sterilizer named as atulya right answer is defense institute of advanced technology now it will disintegrate the covid-19 virus with the help of differential heating in the range of 56 to 60 degree celsius and recently the council of scientific and industrial research that is csir's scientific instruments organization chandigarh has developed an electrostatic disinfection machine which state government has launched jeevan amrit yojana to boost immune system of people to fight corona virus right answer is madhya pradesh now madhya pradesh recently launched unified smart cards for a driving license and vehicle registration being the first state in the country to do so and madhya pradesh also launched the mandu festival at 2019 and remember govinda has been appointed as the brand ambassador of madhya pradesh now chatisgarh has launched india's first garbage cafe in ambikapur and recently chatisgarh also launched a donations on wheels campaign where ration packets 
are being delivered at the doorstep of people in need. Now Kerala, now Kerala launched Break the Chain campaign to maintain social distance, thus helping in breaking the Corona chain. Karen, Kerala also launched ShePad scheme as an awareness program on menstrual hygiene. Which day has been observed as International Labor Day? Right answer is 1st May. Now 30th April is observed as International Jazz Day to create awareness around the world of the virtues of jazz as a force of place, unity and cooperation among people. It was hosted online by Harpik Hancock who is an American pianist and is the UNESCO's Goodwill Ambassador. Now India celebrated 30th April as Ayushman Bharat Divas which promotes affordable medical facilities in remote areas of the country based on the socio-economic caste census database. Who has been appointed as Interim MD and CEO of PNB Housing? Right answer is Neeraj Vyas. Now Ajay Bisarya has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Canada. Gopal Bagle has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka. Vinay Mohan Quatra has been appointed as High Commissioner to Nepal. Whereas Riva Ganguly Das has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh. Who has been named among world's top 20 leaders according to the Medicine Maker Power List 2020? Right answer is Kiran Majumdar Shaw and she is the chairperson and managing director of Bayakan Limited. Now Gita Gopinath appointed as chief economist of IMF. Anshula Kant has been appointed as Chief Financial Officer and Managing Director of World Bank. Kali Puri recently awarded with India's Most Powerful Woman in Media, whereas Angela Merkel is German Chancellor and recently she topped Forbes list of 100 Most Powerful Women in the World. Which state government has launched Ambare Anganwadi to help children during lockdown? Right answer is Gujarat. And recently Gujarat has launched Bhali Dikri Yojana in favor of improving girls birth ratio. Who has been appointed as India's next ambassador to the United Nations? Right answer is T.S. Tirumurthy. Now, Barry O. Farrell is the Australian High Commissioner to India. Deepak Mittal has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Qatar. Piyush Srivastava has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Bahrain. Whereas Raj Lakshmi Singh Dev has been appointed as a President of Rowing Federation of India. Which state government has launched COVID Pharma mobile app to trace people buying medicines for fever and cold? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. Name the Indian cricketer who has been banned by ICC from all forms of cricket for a period of two years for breaching ICC anti-corruption court charges. Right answer is Deepak Agarwal. Now recently Shakibal Hassan from Bangladesh and Umar Akmal from Pakistan both banned for corruption charges. And recently Indian sprinter Nirmala Sharon and weightlifter Seema has been banned for four years by NADA for doping charges. Who has been appointed as new Chief of Public Enterprise Selection Board that is PSEB for a period of three years? Right answer is Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Now Krishna Mohan Prasad has been appointed as 
प्रिंसिपल चीफ कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स पर एज सुरेश चंद्र शर्मा हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज चेयरमैन ऑफ नेशनल मेडिकल कमीशन वट इज द अमाउंट डिड एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक अप्रूव टू सपोर्ट महाराष्ट्र फॉर पावर सेक्टर राइट आंसर इज थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स मिलियन डॉलर नाउ टू फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर हैज बीन अप्रूव बाई ए डी बी टू इंडिया फॉर एनर्जी एफिशियंसी सर्विसेस एडीबी हैज अप्रूव वन नाइंटी मिलियन डॉलर टू राजस्थान फॉर रोड प्रोजेक्ट ADB has approved 750 million dollar to India for a railway electrification and 926 million dollar has been approved by ADB for Mumbai Metro According to rating agency Crisil what will be India's GDP growth rate for financial year 21 compared to previous predictions at 3.5% right answer is 1.8% national award winner rishi kapoor passed away he was a renowned what so he was a renowned actor name the former cricketer who has been appointed as head coach of usa national cricket team right answer is j arun kumar now robin singh appointed as director of cricket of uae sunil joshi is chairman of selection committee of bcci and recently kumar sangakara becomes first non british president of melbourne cricket club whereas gs lakshmi became the first female to be appointed to icc international panel of match referee so here we will end today's session if you like the session then please 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 like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time you can also join the telegram group of study dogma and follow us on instagram pages for regular updates link given in the description column thank you very much